How to increase your white blood cell count. White blood cells are produced in the bone marrow, and typically work as part of the immune system to fight off bacterial and viral infections. What's considered a normal white blood cell count is usually between 4,500 to 10,000 white blood cells WBCS, per microliter of blood. Those who have 3,500 or less may be considered to have a low WBC, also called neutropenia, but not always, it depends on the patient, the doctor, and the situation. A WBC of less than 1,000 is generally always considered too low and an indication of a serious infection risk. In addition to a blood test showing low levels, other symptoms of a low WBC may include fatigue, recurrent infections that are hard to treat, shortness of breath, and weakness. More serious symptoms indicating a need for immediate medical attention include fever, swollen lymph nodes, sore throat, and skin lesions. A low WBC can exist without outside symptoms, however. Citrus Fruits Citrus fruits contain vitamin C that is a key to fighting infections. Also, they can increase the production of white blood cell count. There are some popular citrus fruits such as grapefruit, lemons, oranges, limes, and tangerines. Most of the citrus fruits are rich in vitamin C with such a variety to opt for them, it is simple to add these fruits to daily diet. Broccoli. It is supercharged with a plenty of minerals and vitamins. Packed with vitamin E, C and A, and numerous antioxidants, this vegetable is one of the best foods you should put on the dinner table. The key to holding its power intact is just cooking it as little as possible or even better yet, eat it raw. This is in brief one of the best tips on how to increase white blood cell count naturally, so you should not look down, but try to make use by adding this vegetable to your daily diet and enjoy a healthy immune system. Yogurt Probiotics in yogurt are the friendly and healthy bacteria of yogurt that increase white blood cells production and hence boost immune system. To enhance WBC production, Try to consume at least 1 cup 200 grams 250 grams yogurt on a daily basis. Regular consumption of low-fat yogurt will significantly boost the production of white blood cells. To improve the taste and effect you can also add some blueberries, raspberries or strawberries to your regular small bowl of yogurt. Papaya it is another fruit packed with vitamin C it also has a digestive enzyme that has anti-inflammatory properties within the body. This fruit has decent amounts of B vitamins, potassium, and folate, all of them are useful to the overall health. In fact, this is among the most effective tips on how to increase white blood cell count naturally, so people should try to add more papaya to your daily diet to consume for good. Omega-3 fatty acids stimulate the functional backbone of white blood cells known as phagocytes with omega-3 fatty acids. You may be able to fight infection and maintain regular white blood counts with sources like salmon, herring, and trout dishes. Enjoy walnuts and flaxseed in your daily diet as well. Zinc. This little thought of mineral is vital for the production of white blood cells that fight infection. Zinc also helps them fight much more aggressively. Zinc increases the number of killer cells and allows white blood cells to release more antibodies in their fight against the bad guys. Studies show that zinc supplements slow the growth of cancer and increase the number of infection-fighting T cells. One thing about zinc, however, is that you can overdo it. Consuming more than 75 mg per day actually inhibits immune function. Aim to get most of your zinc from your diet. 15 to 25 milligrams is sufficient for most people. Nut. Eat nuts and seeds rich in vitamin E because vitamin E also helps in the production of white blood cells. In addition to stimulating the production of white blood cells, vitamin E also improves the production of B cells. These are cells from your immune system that produce antibodies that kill harmful foreign bodies like bacteria. Almond, peanut, safflower, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts and sunflower seeds are good sources of vitamin E rich foods. Selenium. Selenium can help build up your white blood cells, 
According to the University of Maryland Medical Center, and some other studies show that selenium itself can help fight infections. One study showed that when elderly persons took both selenium supplements and zinc, their immune systems responded better to the flu vaccine than those who only consumed a placebo. Garlic. Garlic is also very beneficial to boost the production of white blood cells. You can consume both raw or cooked garlic to enhance your immunity. Garlic contain a good amount of allicin that not only helps to increase white blood cells count, but also strengthen your existing cells. Vitamin C. One of the top vitamins that will improve your immune system in a jiffy. There has been more research done on the effects of vitamin C and your immune system than any other vitamin or nutrient around. Vitamin C is found naturally in almost all fruits and is very inexpensive in supplement form. In fact, you can find vitamin C fortified just about anything if you look around a bit. Vitamin C improves your immune system by increasing your body's production of white blood cells and antibodies that fight viruses and bacteria. It also increases the levels of interferon, the antibody that coats the surfaces of your cells and stops viruses from entering them to begin with. Now contrary to popular myth, you don't have to take massive amount to get a boost in your immune system. Around 200 mgs per day will do the trick and you can generally get that, and sometimes more, simply from eating plenty of fruits and vegetables during your daily diet. If you do choose to take supplements, spread the dosage out during the day so you don't end up peeing it all away. Carotenoids. Beta carotene will help increase the number of white blood cells combined with being a great antioxidant that cleans the nasty free radicals up that lead to damages and premature aging. Studies show that beta-carotene rich foods can lower the risk of heart attack. Green tea. Natural green tea is considered very effective to boost WBC production. Green tea is a rich source of antioxidants that help a lot fight against infections which means you won't lose as many white blood cells while fighting against these infectious agents. You can replace your morning coffee with green tea to boost your immunity as well as white blood cells. Red bell peppers. Red bell peppers get twice as much vitamin C as citrus fruits, as well as being a high source of beta carotene. Vitamin C may aid to maintain healthy skin, and beta-carotene may aid to keep skin and eyes healthy. Do you want to know other tips on how to increase white blood cell count? Continue reading this entire article and follow these tips for good. Regulated exercise. Exercise significantly boosts immunity. It promotes blood circulation, including WBCS, to various parts of the body. However, Studies have shown that overexerting yourself through exercise, intense gym routines or marathon running, proves counterproductive and decrease the amount of WBCS in the body. Young men who underwent rigorous military training for 5 to 7 days saw an initial increase and subsequent decrease in the number of neutrophils and monocytes, while other WBCS like lymphocytes and eosinophils reduced throughout. The neutrophile count, specifically, improved significantly in the initial days, but it plummeted as the exercises became more intense. This goes to prove that while exercise is important for overall health, it should not be overdone. Spinach. Spinach is packed with vitamin C, antioxidants as well as beta-carotene, which may increase the ability of fighting infection of the immune system. Like broccoli, it is best to cook spinach as little as possible in order to retain its nutrients. Light cooking will enhance the amount of vitamin A and simultaneously reduce oxalic acid. Yoga's Cobra Pose While all forms of yoga improve circulation, and promote the body's production of WBCS, the Cobra Pose in particular activates the thymus gland located behind the breastbone. The thymus gland produces disease-fighting T-cells, Lie on your stomach, stretch your legs out and place your hands lightly underneath your shoulders with the palms down and the elbows folded upward. Press your thighs, navel and the tops of your feet into the ground. Inhale and slowly raise your upper body, head, chest and abdomen with the support of your arms, bringing your shoulder blades close together. 
Maintaining that position, stretch your tailbin and the crown of your head further back. Hold this pose for 15 to 30 seconds, exhale, lower your torso back to the ground and put your hands beside you. Rest and repeat the exercise 5 to 10 times. Kiwi Kiwi is full of essential nutrients including potassium, vitamin C, folate and vitamin K. Vitamin C enhances the white blood cells in order to fight infections, while the other nutrients of this fruit keep the rest of the body properly functioning. Kiwi may protect your body from respiratory problems, preventing flu complications and common cold.